Hey River Kids Dream Team, it's Alex and I'm here in the four and five year olds classroom. You might be getting ready to do your first serve, so here's a little bit of training for you. Or you might be one of our incredible Dream Teamers who's already serving weekly. Here are a few updates for you. I want to make sure that you all know that this is kind of like our central hub, actually in every classroom that you serve. Your um, lesson materials are going to be right here on the countertop, as well as these upper cabinets, they house your snacks. Um, in here we serve goldfish and animal crackers, and we have our cups for water, just a little bit of water, and um, snacks each Sunday. In these cabinets below here, there's a spot for Dream Team belongings, so maybe you've got your Bible or your purse and, or whatever it might be, you can put that, you're welcome to put that in here. Um, this whiteboard is where we might communicate with you and you can communicate with us. So we check this weekly, so we want to make sure you understand that this is a communication um, piece for you to communicate with us. We know Sundays are busy, um, and so if you have any feedback or concerns or things that you need from us, make sure to leave it right here on the whiteboard. Another thing I want to mention are these postcards that I have right here. I want to encourage you to write postcards to your River Kids. Um, it could be a child who you love serving with each week, or it could be a child who really struggles in your classroom. And so you want to encourage them. You just write their name right here, and we'll do the addressing for you. You write a little note. We'll address it. We'll stamp it, and we'll get it in the mail for you um, so that you can really minister to our River Kids all week long. Um, they love to receive mail, and parents love it when they see you pouring into our kids throughout the week, not just on Sunday. Another thing I want to focus on this morning is just a reminder of our bathroom policy. These bathrooms, you'll see this sign on this door, it says, on Sundays this bathroom is for River Kids only. Um, all leaders are not, all, whether it's a middle school leader or an adult leader, no, um, no one other than River Kids are allowed to use this restroom. So, so keep that in mind. If you need to use the restroom, you need to exit River Kids area during the service time and use the restroom um, in one of our adult restrooms. Another thing I want to focus on today is our service flow. The service flow in this classroom starts with free play. When the kids enter the room, they have multiple options for free play. We've got books, we've got blocks, we've got magnet tiles, train table. We do our best to rotate these toys and that's another way you can communicate with us. You can say, hey, they're getting kind of tired of the train table. Maybe we could switch something up. Um, so make sure you're communicating with us of what the kids are liking or maybe not engaging with at all. We want to provide a great experience for you as well as our River Kids. So they have their free play time and then you might transition into um, an on-screen game that you're playing together, so on and so forth. The next thing that they're going to do, you're going to encourage them to clean up and put things away and you're going to participate with them in worship and values. And so they're going to come on these sit spots and they're going to stand here on their sit spots and face the TV and you're going to worship with them. You're going to go through our core values with them. We're celebrating the fact that here in River Kids, we love God, love others, we do our best, and ultimately we get to have fun in River Kids. So we're going to celebrate that with them. And then also, if you know those River Kids values, it's a great tool to redirect behavior. You know, you can correct the child who's running and say, you know, hey, we, we love to have fun, but we're not going to run. Those are kind of some non-negotiables in this classroom because then if we're running, it's not safe, so on and so forth. Why we focus um, during worship is because we love God. So if someone's not engaging in worship, then we can remind them, hey, we love God, which is why we're worshiping. Let's worship right now. Another element to our worship experience in this classroom, you're going to be provided with different ways to engage in worship every single week. It's going to be our goal to rotate those between our early childhood classrooms. So one week you might have scarves, the next week you might have egg shakers, the next week you might have ribbon sticks. We're trying to help you engage your River Kids um, in a time of praise and worship um, and focus on Jesus. Once that time of the service is completed, you're going to invite kids back to our table area. At the table, you're going to serve snack, you're going to tell the Bible story, and they can even color while you're telling the Bible story. If there are any other lesson elements, that's when you do them here as well. 
So it might be a small craft, it might be some stickers, anything like that's gonna happen right here at this side of the classroom at the tables. As we get ready to finish up our service flow and service time is coming uh, close to ending, we're gonna transition all of our kids back to our sit spots. We're gonna throw away our trash, we're gonna clean up, and we're gonna transition back to our sit spots and then we will play the lesson video as well as maybe an additional on-screen game or replay the one that we did um, earlier in the day. Um, it's just a way to keep all kids seated and focused while um, parents are getting ready to prepare for checkout. I understand that service runs long and uh, you know these times don't always go exactly according to plan. So I trust you to be flexible and make shifts and changes as you see fit towards the end of the service. That might be playing red light, green light. That might be um, practicing the memory verse or reciting the big idea. Say the memory verse in a pirate voice. Say the memory verse in your quietest voice. Um, getting creative with different things like that so we can really hit home the memory verse and the big idea each week. Um, one last thing I wanna remind every, everyone about is our secure checkout. We have these security templates and we wanna make sure that we are matching our alphanumeric code from the child's tag to the parent pickup tag um, and then placing the, this up here. We inform our parents that River Kids is a, is a secure environment um, and so we also wanna provide secure checkout procedures. You guys are incredible. You are serving loads of four and five year olds and you're doing a magnificent job. So I wanna encourage you, but I also just wanted to equip you. So I hope some of those tips help and I look forward to seeing you Sunday.